Hey everyone, Zian over here with Nintendo Life, and on the first of every month in my favorite simulator, Animal Crossing New Horizons, a slew of new bugs and fish become available for us to capture and put on display in our museums, but a ton also happen to go away, and some leave for much longer than others. So we thought you'd find it useful to know which fish you should be looking out for in this new month. So today, we're here to share with you every bug and fish returning to Animal Crossing New Horizons on April 1st, and the ones that are leaving on May 1st, in both the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere. This list was put together with the help of the comprehensive bug and fish guides our team have created over at Nintendolife.com, and if you'd like to check out the full list for yourself, we'll leave a link in the description that you can follow down below. Now in this list, we'll be sharing info on where and what time of day these critters can be found. And to keep spoilers to a minimum, we'll be showing very little imagery of the bugs and fish, so that way once you actually catch one, you'll still be surprised. We'll also leave timestamps for the northern and the southern hemisphere sections of this video down below so you can skip ahead to your region. So with all of that out of the way, let's get on to the list. Now, returning to Animal Crossing New Horizons on April 1st in the Northern Hemisphere are the following bugs or insects or what, whatever you want to call them. The Agrius Butterfly, the Atlas Moth, the Common Blue Bottle, the Darner Dragonfly, the Flea, the Giant Water Bug, the Jewel Beetle, the Long Locust, the Madagascan Sunset Moth, and the Raja Brooks Birdwing. And then the only bug or insect leaving on May 1st is the tarantula. So obviously, if you haven't caught a tarantula yet, you're going to want to make sure that that's a priority for you, as if you don't catch one before May 1st, you're not going to have a chance again until November. Other than that, some of the new butterflies can be pretty rare to see. I've only seen one agrius butterfly in my town. I've seen a couple atlas moths, but those are pretty expensive. And I just finally saw my first Madagascan sunset moth the other day, and I still haven't seen a Roger Brooks birdwing yet at all. But that could just be that I'm not often playing in the morning afternoon. I'm usually playing at night. But these butterflies and moths are at least returning to the game, so you'll still have plenty of time to catch most of these. And then for the fish returning to the game on April 1st in the Northern Hemisphere, we have the following. The butterfly fish, the crawfish, the clownfish, the guppy, the killifish, the neon tetra, the seahorse, the surgeon fish, and the zebra turkey fish. And then leaving the game on May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere, we have the blue marlin, the dab, and the tuna. Now the highlights for this month are definitely the tuna and the blue marlin. They're the most expensive and they're in turn going to be the hardest to catch as well. Now the blue marlin does come back in July, so if you miss it now you'll have a chance sooner than later, but the tuna doesn't come back until November. So you may want to prioritize that one if you've got the time. And then for our friends in the southern hemisphere, for bugs and insects returning on April 1st, we actually don't have any. There's no new bugs for the game. But we do have a ton of bugs leaving. And the bugs that are leaving are the banded dragonfly, the bell cricket, the darner dragonfly, the ladybug, the man-faced stink bug, the red dragonfly, the scorpion, the stink bug, the tiger beetle, and the yellow butterfly. Now, some of these bugs just aren't available in the Northern Hemisphere yet, so I'm not familiar with some of them, but from what I can tell, it seems like the scorpion is going to be the hardest one to catch since it actually will attack you, much like the tarantula, but most of these others, if you just run around and you've got flowers out and you're available during the right time, it seems like they're not going to be too tough to find. And then for fish returning to the Southern Hemisphere on April 1st, we only have two you have the dab and the yellow perch. And then leaving on May 1st is quite the list. We have the angelfish, the beta, the catfish, the giant trevally, the mahi-mahi, the moray eel, the rainbow fish, the ribbon eel, the snapping turtle, and the tilapia. Now, a lot of these fish aren't available in the Northern Hemisphere, so I just haven't caught them yet, but a good majority of them aren't going to be available again until November and December. So you're going to want to make sure you get these into your museum while you still can. And if you're curious, it seems like the Mahi Mahi and the Snapping Turtle are the most expensive of the bunch. 
Now this is the first time we've done any sort of really big bug and fish list like this on the channel, so please feel free to let us know what you thought about it down below, let us know if there's anything we could have done better, any sort of changes you'd like to see implemented in a future version of this video, or even if you just enjoyed this video, because if this video does well then we'll continue to do these for more months down the road. And as always, if you just really dug this video and found it helpful, then why don't you cast your poll out there and hook a subscribe button, hook our subscribe button, and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and we will catch you next time.